Demon really I freed? Eisen would know better than anyone, so I'd take it as a fact. But I thought when people have a strong will like you and Kurogane, they don't lose themselves upon becoming a demon. From how Eisen talks about him, I'd say his strength of will should be considerable. Even if you don't lose yourself, a demon is a demon. When you change, you're no longer human. I don't remember how I felt as a human, but I bet the human me would have thought I'm a real monster. <sighs> But would the old part of Eifried allow him to be so obedient to the Abbey? No. He didn't seem to be following Melchior of his own free will. I imagine Melchior's illusory arts are at play. Like what we saw at Loringen in a ball? Is that enough to control a demon? It would seem so. But more importantly, someone with a psyche resilient enough to impress Aizen should be extraordinarily hard to turn into a demon. So Melchior must be using a particularly nasty illusion, eh? Eifried, Eisen, please be okay. Zavid, you all right? Stop. I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried, she pulled me back from the brink. <laughs> I owe him. This time, it's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. <laughs> so what? It's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? Savid! <laughs> Going after kids now? <laughs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side. Zavid's an idiot, but he stands by his beliefs. I won't let anyone trample their creeds. Even you! I owe you everything, Eifried. And now... It's time to pay it back! Are you alright with this, Aizen? I am. Let's settle this. Easier so said than done. This is dirty ready. Damn right it is. And that's why I've got to do this! Oh, 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 oh,
end of the road. Taking hostages now. I'm sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. All right. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away fell from my grasp. But a certain idiot once told me, if you can't hold something in your hand, then make a fist and take it by force. This fist will take everything back. Just like you told me to! Uh. Ah! Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? I freed! Demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power. Stop crying. Didn't you say you were prepared for anything? And you were searching for Ifrid for so long. <sighs> You're still as soft as you ever were. Boy, I'll let you in on little secrets. Your power comes from being part of Enominot. Which means if you can seal off his domain, you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight. Seal off his domain? The four elemental Empyreans sleeping in the Earth pulses. If you can rouse them from their slumber. Hurry, while Artorius and Enominat are occupied. They're getting ready for some ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Thank you, Ifrid. I'm just sad I can't go with you. This sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's raise some hell. Eisen. Yeah, we will. See you, Ifrid. <sighs> I owe you one, Zavid. We had a chance to bring him back, but you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score. Between me and your creed. See you around, Zavid. So, we need to wake the four elemental Empyreans? But, how do we do it? Danelle, 
Maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they... You're back! And you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He... Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire and ask her about the four Empyreans. Aizen. Are you sure? Do it. He gave us this chance. We can't waste it. Okay. Resurrect the Elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all. D of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans... they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst. If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect! You're Etherian, you're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Ho-ho! Oh so if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand. But I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there, it's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand. Naturally. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. It's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. Then no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're- All right. Aye, aye. You-
I see. Or a Calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are without a doubt the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Stormhowl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken... Humanity will be robbed of their free will! I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed! And the world is free of malevolence! Hurrah! Hurrah! Robbing humanity of its will... They'll be like I once was. Uh, something's coming! Guys, let's not fight! <laughs> this is a domain? sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking. Wake him up! On it. Aizen! Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon! <laughs> ah! I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh no! Look! It's that merchant! 
You're all right. I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Huh? No, wait! Stop! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No, it's not right! Oh! You can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorias' uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder. And now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here. Unless you'd rather not see. You're right. I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression. Seems that... Nominat's power did all of this. Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. <gasps> Mommy! That was a child. Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl... Looks like those Malachim took them away somewhere. The Prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the Prince, and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs, then. You got it.
fountains are purely decorative. Not just the fountains. Comfort is another word for vanity. All vanity must be purged. Yes. We cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. 